A boy seriously injured by a lawnmower, lawnmower is making a remarkable recovery. Behind me here, this is three-year-old Tate Manal, someone we've really come to admire here in the last few months. Remember back in August, a severe accident. He was run over by a lawnmower right outside his home in Cedar Falls. Tate spent two months in the intensive care unit. Nineteen procedures later, this remarkable recovery continues. Doctors have been able to save Tate's right leg. KWW reporter Elizabeth Amani caught up with the family today after yet another surgery, which Elizabeth, I'm told, happened earlier today. That's right, Ron. The good news is his parents tell me everything went well with today's surgery, but outside of the hospital walls, Tate has been working on regaining his strength. He might be a little camera shy, but he certainly is putting in the work. Three-year-old Tate Manal's muscles are just starting to wake up again. You can do it. But he's already making amazing strides. <laughs> All with a little encouragement from mom and dad. Once we got him to walk to us, it's, it's so relieving to see from the day of the accident to where we are now. It's just a miracle. Even getting by with a little help from his older brother, Kaysen. Oh, good job. I'm more proud of Kaysen and how mature he is. Doctors were able to save his right leg. And most recently, Tate's been wearing this hardware. They were able to go and do this procedure, which we were looking forward to because the benefits of it are awesome. It helps distribute the weight, but at the same time works to help strengthen his muscles again. With his mom taking him to physical therapy, he's slowly getting back into just being a kid. You got to do this so you can ride your bike this summer. You so you can ride that scooter because that's all he talks about is I'm going to ride that scooter this summer and I'm going to play basketball. So he was so happy that, you know, he, we're at this point now where he could actually start to walk again. And, you know, he's, he's weak, but it's another step forward to uh, the day where he's not going to need all that assistance and hardware. Now, if everything goes smoothly with his healing, his next procedure won't be until June. That's when doctors plan on removing his hardware on his leg so he can start walking on his own. Reporting live, Elizabeth Amani at News 7, KWWL. Elizabeth, thank you very much for the update. And the Manals hope that they'll be out of the hospital as early as tomorrow morning.